Cape Chronicle. I'm Jacob McClellan. Chris Rabick creates metal artwork in his shop in Sedgwickville, Missouri. When he's not creating metal pieces, he spends his time kayaking, skydiving, or racing a rally car. He's also a quadriplegic. Chris Rabick, thank you so much for coming by to talk with us. Thank you, Jacob. Glad to be here. So tell us a, a little bit about your, about your metal working. How, you, um, how did you get into the, into the metal working business to begin with? Uh, well, that's got a pretty interesting story. Uh, back in 2010 or 11, my sister was getting married, and uh, her favorite flower is a sunflower, so I figured I'd be the, the uh, little troublemaker and have to one-up everybody's gifts. So I figured, I'd, well, I could make her a big metal sunflower, assuming that I could do it. I had a welder, so why not? And um, I made her um, about a six, seven-foot tall sunflower, and out of satellite dishes and old parts of her Volkswagen Beetle she had. And uh, yeah, people saw me make it and they liked them and then I started getting orders and it really just steamrolled and became Apple Creek Metalworks. So, so what type of, what type of, of works do you, do you create now? Uh, I'm just a complete, completely custom uh, metal art, mostly. Um, but I just wrapped up a job on some ornamental uh, uh, awnings. For a, for a new business, for an existing business at a new location in, in Jackson. So anything from architectural work, uh, custom signs, light fabrication. Um, I'll build your race car too if you want me to do that. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, as I understand it, you, you built a, a, some type of a Japanese um, a tub or bathing tub or something uh, like that? Yeah, a Japanese soaking tub. Soaking that, tub. Yeah, it's, it's here in Cape at the, at the boathouse. And uh, yeah, it's a one-off, well, there's only one like it in the world. And it's in Cape. <laughs> <laughs> now, is, is your work all? Is it all? Um, is it all custom made? Anybody can just you know pretty much come to you and say that you're inter that they're interested in in, uh, in this piece of, of work, and you can and you can and you can do it. Yeah, uh, they can either come to me with a specific thing that they want, or they can come to me and say I've got this idea, and then I can kind of use my my ideas, combine it with their ideas, and kind of make it all work. And I think we have some some examples of some of your uh, some of your artwork as well. Um, uh, I think after the uh, after the dome here. Um, <laughs> well, that's your dome. <laughs> um, well, th there we yeah, go. There the we awnings, go. Yeah. Yeah. So so this is and this is out of your uh, at your shop in Sedgwickville as well. That's at my shop. Yep. Okay. And you said these are these are awnings. Yep. Okay. Yep. And uh, the new benders I have, I, I bent all the all the metal and hand hand scrolled all that, and mm -hmm. um, but then little things like that too. This little whatever people want me to make. Okay, I see, I see. And I think, yeah, and then, yeah. and so just like any, anything that somebody's just kind of interested in, in having that. Yeah, that and, and what a lot of people have issues with is they have this great idea in their head, and I'm really good at taking their idea and making it work, making it into metal, you know, because it might not be exactly the way they were envisioning it, to, but to make it work, um, I'm able to kind of reverse engineer a lot of things sure. to, to make things do what they're supposed to do. Okay. Now, 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 Chris, you're you're technically a, a quadriplegic. Could yes. you could, could you tell us a little bit about about the about your injury and uh, and, and what happened there? Okay. Well, I was injured in uh, July 2004, July 13th, and um, it was a truck rollover. I was unbelted and I broke my C5 and C6 vertebrae, so right around here. And what that did was it gave me impairment in all four limbs. Uh, like my right hand, I can close and have a little grip. Uh, no grip in the left hand, you know, no movement, no no functional movement at least in the legs. Um, so I'm one-handed when I do, um, you know, anything that I do. Um, and but 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 out of this, you got interested in in, in in rally car racing. And before we get into and before we get into your involvement in rally car, rally car is not a terribly popular sport. Um, could could you kind of explain what what rally car what rally car is? Uh, what rallies are, it's a they're they're timed events. They used to they, they stemmed out of the thing called TSD, which is time stage distance, um, similar to what a poker run would be. Um, but what they did was they took that kind of more civilized version of it, <laughs> and then did what we did with it, which was close the roads down, go as fast as you can against the clock. On these are public roads, obviously closed to the public during that time. Uh, typically gravel, but it can be snow, rain, mud. Um, yeah, and we just try to be faster than everybody else. And and now, so now you have your own your own rally car as, as, as well now, mm -hmm. and you've been racing for for how long? Uh, this will be 
Well, this event this Saturday, the Show Me Rally, will be basically a year as far as stage rally. I do another type of racing called Rally Cross, which is a scaled down version of it. I've um, been doing that for several years. Um, but the whole reason there is a business, it wasn't just the, the story about the sunflower. It was, um, that was just kind of, that's just kind of how I got into metal work. Um, but the rally car is why I started a business, is why I do everything that I do. You, you, you've, you've said before that um, when, when you were first injured that people would come and talk to you in the hospital mm -hmm. and you didn't find what they were saying particularly inspiring. No, it's um, depressing. <laughs> right, right. Tell us a little bit about what you want to tell folks that have, um, that have, that have had spinal cord injuries uh, about what they can do in the future. Oh, right. I, I want to give them options. And that, that was the biggest thing when I was in the hospital that I um, was more or less frustrated with. They, they kind of limited you to you can do computer work or Walmart greeter, you know, little uh, more menial jobs, you know, whereas I'm, I'm a fabricator, race car driver. Uh, I can still run heavy equipment. Um, so I want to go in there and give them a little more options that they may not be able to do exactly what they did before, but you can do it in a pretty pretty big way. How, how, would you, um, how would you define success now? How would I define success? Just to be able to do what you really wanted to do. I'm successful because I built my rally car. I'm a public speaker. I get to go to high schools now and talk to uh, students about road safety to hope to prevent that injury that, that happened to me so I don't have to go talk to them in the hospital. And, uh, have you know give them what options they have just don't want them limited by anything we've been talking today with chris rabick he's the owner of apple creek metalworks in sedgwickville chris thank you so much for coming by to talk with us it's been a pleasure thanks sir